All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to create our very own photo story. What we're going to do is we're going to take photos, put them together, add some music, put some nice transitions, and make our own little little photo movie. So I'm going to show you an example that was made by Miss Bell. It's a really good example of what a photo story looks like. Let's dim the lights a little bit so you can check it out. So, what that was is, once again, a movie story, a uh, picture story. You get a bunch of pictures, add some nice little transitions, add some music, and you make a movie just with pictures. This would be great for maybe this holiday coming up, Christmas. Make a nice little Christmassy photo story. So, let me get you started by showing you where you got to go to start on photo story. Photo story is number 22 on our virtual classroom. <coughs> Click on here, photo story. That's going to open up this link over here. If you click on the assignment, photo story rubric, you'll see what we'll be doing. You're going to be creating today a photo story using the photos we're going to be providing for you on Virtual Classroom. You're going to pick at least eight of those photos to create your photo story. You're going to add titles, credits, add music, visual effects, and transitions. So create a photo story. First, you're going to go to your home drive. Once you're in your home drive, go to your 21st century folder. And you're going to click new folder. And you're going to name it photo story. After that, you'll go to virtual classroom to find the topic photo story. Once again, that's number 22. And you'll find a whole list of music tracks. You can play them by clicking play. You'll also find a whole list of different photos to choose from. There should be about 11 of them, so you're going to choose 8 of those 11. To get those and save them to your home drive, you're going to right click and do save, it tar at, save target as. So when you right click, go save it target as. You'll do this both with the music and the photos. And then just put it into the folder you just created, the photo story folder. That way it's easier for you to go back to it when you need it. Then what you'll do is you'll open up Windows Live Photo Gallery. Windows Live Photo Gallery is towards the bottom. It's towards the bottom of the application window. It's right next it's in right next to Windows Media Player, Windows Live Movie Maker. Once you're there, you're going to click on this blue little icon over here. Similar to the Microsoft Office button, that big yellow one, except this one's a little bit far, so click on that. Then you're going to click on Include Folder. Once you click on Include Folder, you'll go click on Add. And what that will do is take you to your home drive and look at all the different folders until you find Photo Story. Once you find Photo Story, double click on that. Click the Include Folder, and it's going to ask, a window's going to pop up, just click OK. And what that will do is it will add your photo story folder here, along with all the photos that you downloaded from the virtual classroom. Afterwards, you're going to select the photos that you want to add, so pick all eight that you need. Once you selected the eight that you need, you're going to click on the Create tab. Once you've clicked on, the, clicked on the Create tab, you're going to click Movie. And that's going to take you to Windows Live Movie Maker. So Windows Live Movie Maker will open up with all your photos already in there. 
Then what you'll do is you'll start creating your photo story. You're going to first do our assignment today, which is only 10 points, two points for each item, just to get you warmed up and start on learning how to use photo story. You're going to add a title, add credits, add music, add visual effects, and add transitions. To add music, you just click on add music and locate the music files that you downloaded from Virtual Classroom. In this case, I use the song Killer Tracks. And you'll see the song up here on your storyboard here. Also, you can add some visual transitions by going to visual effects. Add some animations by going to animations. And also, you can also try to do auto movie themes by clicking in here. And there's some really cool ones in here, so check these out. To add a title or credits, you can click right here, title or credits. For tomorrow, we're going to do the same activity, but with photos of your own. Today, you're going to use our photos that are located in virtual classroom. Tomorrow, you'll use your own photos. So bring your own photos for tomorrow. If you don't have any photos, go ahead and just use some photos from online. These are digital photos that you can just email to yourself. So find some photos of yourself, maybe some, your, some of you hanging out with your friends or something like that, or maybe some family pictures. Maybe you might consider creating a Christmas photo story, since Christmas is just around the corner or some other holiday that's right around the corner. Here's what you're going to need for the activity for tomorrow. You're going to need 10 to 15 photos, or some that you can get from the internet. You can have a theme. So I have a sports theme, maybe a vacation theme, maybe a hobby theme, maybe a game theme for the gamers out there, or a family theme. You're going to add a title to your photo story, add some credits, add music, add visual effects, and add transitions. Once you finish with it, once again you'll click up here this little blue thing, go all the way down to save movie, and then click on for email, save it as photo story one, first name last initial for the one you're doing today, and for tomorrow save that one as photo story two, first name last initial. This PowerPoint once again is located on Virtual Classroom. So on Virtual Classroom it is right here. So open that up, that way you can go through the steps one by one. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I'm going to release you so you guys can get working on that.